salutations, friends. It is I, said Stevie. And today, taking a little bit closer look at this bad mamma jamma right here, this is the Artisan Cutlery Ahab, uh, designed by Nick Rogers of uh, Niche Designs. Uh, pretty cool uh, knife here, I gotta say. Um, looking at a... A uh, 3.31 inch uh, harpoon style uh, blade, uh, satin finish, uh, full flat grind on here. Um, the steel on this is ARRPM9, which I believe is a proprietary steel to Artisan. I don't know much about it um, at all. Uh, you see the uh, thumb studs on here. Uh, and then very minimalist uh, screws because uh, it has uh, hidden uh, liners in here. Uh, T6 on the screws, and uh, you have a milled uh, 3D titanium pocket clip. And then on the uh, clip side here, you see uh, the serial number, uh, the maker's mark, and the steel marking. Um, this is writing on ceramic uh, bearings. Uh, it did come completely centered, and it stayed centered, as I uh, may not have mentioned. Uh, this does have a, a nice geared style uh, backspacer on there. And, uh, yeah, the action is good to go. Uh, you can middle finger flick this. Uh, you can... My earbud just fell out. Sorry about that. Uh, you can thumb flick it, uh, no problems. Uh, the action is... Uh, pretty dang good to go. I think it can be improved though, and I want to see what it looks like underneath the scale, so um, we're going to take it apart real quick. But uh, yeah, this is uh, wood on the uh, handle material. I don't know what kind of wood it is. It doesn't say on there. It just says uh, wood, so I don't know. But uh, in order to uh, take this apart, we definitely have to take it apart from uh, the show scale first because to get to this other uh screw holding the scale on i'm gonna have to uh, get to that uh, pocket clip screw so i don't know what it's like to take this apart but uh let's get into it uh looks like i'm definitely gonna need a uh, t6 so let's uh well, let me get out to my uh shoka cola can uh here real quick to keep track of the uh hardware so Clip side, uh, I or excuse me, show side, I go to the left. And the clip side, I go to uh, the right. Now, this is supposed to be pretty cool looking underneath here. And uh, it does not disappoint. So, uh, these liners are meant to, uh, they are, uh, you can see, fully uh, milled out. And it's supposed to um, resemble a, a whale uh skeleton so ahab moby dick uh, harpoon style blade it's kind of a theme going on here right so uh yeah this is uh extremely interesting here um lots of screws going into uh everything here uh shoot let's just go for it um let's take off this uh pivot i think i'm gonna need a t8 for that Yep, T8 uh, for the uh, pivot that's on the show side. And then a couple of uh, screws going into the, I guess, the uh, backspacer here. That seems to be free spinning. These are both free spinning, so I don't know what's going on there. Uh, that could be problematic not allowing me to take this apart if these screws uh, want to free spin. Yep, that's going to be a problem. That's absolutely a problem. I can't take this apart if... Now let's see if maybe I can get to the uh, pocket clip screw from... I, it looks like I just was able to get to the uh, pocket uh, clip screw um that was show side i needed to put there 
uh, through the uh, scale there. So maybe that will help me um, be able to take it apart further. Because now I can take off this clip sky side scale. Because if uh, I can't stop those screws from free spinning, then I can't take it apart. Show side, clip side. Okay. Um, all right. So I'm able to get the clip side uh, backspacer screws out. So now... Um, can I pop off this liner? Okay, I can. Um, pivots falling out. Bearings are falling out. Plastic bearings on here. Let's see if I can get these. Now that they are... Nope. Okay, so this is just going to have to snap apart here hmm there we go all right so what i'm gonna want to do is tighten those down a little bit more or flip those yeah hmm. pause i'm just looking for something real quick I see that the sun is creeping in on my uh, breakdown mat here, so glare is not going to be great, but I just grabbed my uh, little uh, channel locks here, and I'm going to see if I can't break these loose. I can, so I do want to break those loose. Um, you can see there's a little bit of uh, Loctite on there. And I am breaking these loose because I want them to be tightened from the other side. Because if I have to take this apart again, uh, you need, I think it'd be easier if I was able to just pop it off from the show side. So um, there we go. I've just yarded everything out there. Uh, let's uh, start giving a little uh, wipe down uh, to the blade. I'm going to keep the uh, uh, stop pin. No, let's just pop. No, nope. yep. Stop pin wants to just stay in there. So I'm going to keep that in there uh, the best I can. Um, yeah, uh, cool, uh, cool design, uh, right? I think it's awesome uh, that these liners are so definitely make. Are they steel? steel let me grab my dapper ion yes they are steel uh sticking to the magnet um because they have so many uh, uh weight so much weight weight relief in it this is uh flexible so you definitely want to be careful with that all right um wipe these uh bearings down now let's see if i can figure out how to put this uh together uh, like a puzzle. So, um, this is the clip side, right? Yep, it is. And I wanted to put these uh, barrel spacers in and make sure that they are tightened down from the clip side. So, um, let me grab clip screws or the uh, liner screws uh, on there little stubby guys I think that's these right yeah the mail lady has arrived if you guys hear that uh, that's my mail lady um, yes okay this is correct so a little bit more involved uh, with this uh, knife, but uh, it's still, I think, uh, well worth it. Again, a very interesting construction um, on, on this. I'm digging it. 
Now I'm going to uh, sink that down uh, on there. And do the same on the other one. All right, that didn't work. There we go. Oh, cooperate with me. Cooperate. This is the struggle bus, uh, folks. The struggle bus is in full effect. But that's okay. I'll keep it running. I don't know how long this video is going to end up being because of it, but I will uh, I'll just let it run. You can always use the fast forward feature if you want to uh, skip forward. All right. Let's tighten uh, that down. Okay, so now here we go. No, that's the show side. I just did in reverse what I wanted to do. <laughs> um, oh well, I'm just going to go with it because I was able to get through to the. Um, pocket clip screw anyway so um how did that work on there is that right okay um where is me pivot my pivot is here. D-shaped uh, captive pivot. Right there. Goes in uh, good. No problems there. This is the... No, I'm doing this wrong. The pivot needs to go on this side. Right? Yeah, that's the show side. And that's the lock side. So this needs to go on like so. So the pivot was on here. Yes. Okay. Pivot is on there. Which means I put the pivot, or I put the backspacer on the wrong freaking side. What am I doing here, folks? I just had to smack it up, flip it, and reverse it is all I had to do. So, <sighs> struggle bus. Anywho, um, let's uh, get back to reassembly here. So, a uh, couple dabs of oil, if I could, real quick, like. Mm -hmm. um, when I took apart the uh, Artisan Valor... My other artisan knife, um, it had plastic bearings as well. So I don't know if that's just an artisan thing or what. Um, on the uh, detent uh, path there, detent ball. Into the uh, pocket there, which I don't believe I did on the other side, but I'm doing that. Uh, I'm just moving forward with it. Now I need to snap uh, this whole thing uh, together. I don't have the D shape in the right spot, do I? No, I don't. All right, I don't like uh, the way this is constructed. It's kind of a pain in the ass. It's an extreme pain in the ass. I'm going to take the uh, stop pin out and put it into here so it'll stop the blade from moving. Um, yeah, this knife is a pain in the ass for sure. Big pain in the ass.
Okay. Dead air. Dead air, folks. All right, let's see if that will work there. No, it won't. Jeez, many creepers. All right, I know what I'm going to do. Pause. I swapped everything over to the show side uh, scale or uh, liner there to make putting the uh, clip side liner back on a little bit easier. So everything is already all. Uh, the problem is you can't lay it flat because of those thumb studs. So um, it's not as simple to do. I don't have that on there, right? Man, everything. This is, uh, I guess, a good learning uh, video. So you guys can see uh, how much of a pain in the butt uh, this can be. My, uh, let's see if my pivot will capture. There. Now it's good to go. So, uh, but I did not put on one of the bearings. <laughs> oh boy. Hmm. Okay. Now let's go. Yeah. Man, with the lighting and everything on this, this is a shitty video, ain't it, folks? I guess they can't all be uh, bangers. What in the fuck is going on here? that stupid D-shaped pivot, man. <sighs> no, it's not right. There, that should be lined up. Dang gummit, I think I got it. Yes, let's hurry up and get that. Pivot screw back in there now so I don't have to worry about the that. Now let's get these couple of uh, body screws uh, back in there. Yeah, those are right. Are they? Yes. So sometimes uh, they're really easy to take apart, folks. Sometimes not so much. And uh, for this being a, I think this is like a $65 knife. Um, surprise, it's so hard to take apart. It's mm -hmm. not the simplest construction there at all. All right. Um, action seems to be good. I should probably try to center it on here. Well, I have to center it on here. There's no centering it once uh, I, I got it put back apart. So, all right, that appears to be on center. I guess you just have to live with the action because there's no, uh, no doing it past this. No dialing it in once I got it, uh, the wood scales back on there. So, um, no blade play. That's a good thing. 
See if I can back that off just a skoosh. That's going to be perfect. And now I suppose I can put the uh, scales back on. I'm going to have to try to do that little uh, reach around uh, deal to put the pocket clip screw back in. And it's this uh, longer one of the three that I have left. Should have thought about that. Nope. All right. So you can, I guess, it fits through there. No problem. And I'm able to snug that down. Ah, but I didn't put the uh, body screw in. <laughs> if you're going to fuck things up, let's just do it from the get-go. Or everything, right? All right. So you have to put in... that uh, first and let's just put the other one in for good measure I was thinking about uh, sending this to uh, Bill Pro X 1840 to um, put some fat carbon scales on it, but I don't think I want to, uh, I mean, Billy boy, if you watch this and you're up for the challenge, let me know, but, um, I don't think I, I want to put you through, uh, the heartache of all this. All right, clip is on good. Now all that's left is, uh, these couple of screws for the show scale. That's all lined up. My opinion on this knife has not changed, though. It's absolutely a uh, fantastic, fantastic um, You know what I think I did? Those are these are flat screws. These are not. I put the wrong screws uh, into the backspacer. I bet you I did. I bet you I did, and I bet you they're on the other side. <laughs> they are. All right. I believe you want the flat screws showing, right? Yep, that's exactly what I did. Like a moron. Like an absolute moron. But that's okay. I'm only human, right? Born to make mistakes. Mmm, steak sounds good. But I'm making chicken parmigiana sandwiches tonight with my leftover chicken parmigiana. That's what I'm making for dinner. What's left here of these screws? One of them's supposed to be longer. Flat, flat, flat. Flat. Where's my pocket clip screw? Oh, gee, many creepers. What happened to my pocket clip screw? Right there. <laughs> okay. I was able to take apart and uh, completely disassemble and reassemble the Grazioso in less than 10 minutes. I'm going on a half hour here. Flat. 
body screw. Flat body screw. Button head long pocket clip screw, right? Flat. Flat, yep. We're in the home stretch now, kids. We are in the home stretch. There. What's up with that? That screw is going through too far on that side. Why did that happen? Other than that, it's good, but you can see I kind of scratched the blade up. Why is that screw all of a sudden longer? Hmm. That's weird. Huh, okay. Well, I guess there's a difference in length between the uh, screws. Yep, that's all it is. Well, what I will say is that uh, the action is absolutely better than it was by doing that, though. It's good. Good to go. Yep. I don't like the satin blade. I wish this was bead bla or uh, stone washed. Too many fingerprints. But there you fo go, folks. <sighs> Only a half hour long video. But yeah. Uh, Nick Rogers. Uh, fantastic job, dude. Uh, despite this being a pain in the ass to uh, take apart. Um, this knife is really cool, and I think for 65 bucks, it's even, uh, cooler. Um, yeah. There you go, folks. Let me know what you guys think. And until the next one, I bid you mofos a deuces. Or do I? I do.